Hi there, welcome back to the Roundtable. I'm your host, Steve, and I'm here with Gio. Back in the theaters today, went to go see A Quiet Place day one. You're going for it. All right, so uh, the film is directed by Michael Somoski. Please forgive me as I pronounce his name. Yes, I would Joseph been. Quinn, Lupita Nyonju, and Jimin Hansun. This is the prequel to the Quiet Place series that had uh, John Kredinsky and Emily Blunt as the family surviving why these aliens who hunt human beings down through sound. So this is the prequel how it all starts, as it's called day one. Would you like to give your, your thoughts Go on? for it. I like your look. Okay, since start. I haven't seen the other two, I, I can't really compare. As as a standalone film, I thought it was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I There was jumps. I jumped a few times. Uh, the aliens look kind of scary. Um, the thing is, there's a cat in this movie. Now, either it is the smartest cat on the face of the earth, or it is the craziest cat. This cat knew not to make sounds and was walking through the city and nothing ever happened to this cat. So there's certain parts I go, ah, I don't know if I like this cat. There's it, and there's moments I love this cat. That's the only thing. I thought it was a decent, I think it's a decent entry. I, like I said, I can't compare. As a standalone film, um, if I have to give a score of some kind, I'm going to have to say probably uh, in the 70s. It's not a not a home run for I me. I said in your low 70s. Uh, low. Okay. 70, 71, tops. Um, for that type of film, like I'm not into these scary movies, so it's not something I would have gone by myself to see. But uh, I'm not going to mention it because it's a quiet place, but some guy brought me there. Overall, I was entertained. A few thrills here and there. It's the cat every once in a while. I go, this cat should not be alive. But that's me. Okay. Me, I'm used to horror movie because I have to see this face every morning when I wake up. So there you go. Ah! ah! You know? And do what I do. If you see somebody in front of you talking, smack them or tip them. Go, hey, shh, quiet place. See? See? This is where I'm going? Anyways, it's funny because even myself too. I wrote here, see? Cat. Because I love the cat. And the cat is her emotional uh, comfort animal. Yeah. And you remember in the beginning, whenever she, when the first time you see a the cat, she goes, the cat goes, ah, she goes Shh, be quiet. So, because, okay, I didn't see that part. I so must have missed she, that. But. She kind of, I think she's able to keep the cat at that place if it's very quiet. So it's her emotional cat, kind of sense. Yeah. And she kind of later on gives it away because the other person, another person needs the, the emotional cat more than she does, okay? So here it is. Uh, on the Rotten Tomatoes, 84, and people viewing is 73. I gave a bit higher than Steven. I've been in the high 70, okay? And this is the movie that's going to the theater. Cheap one, if you prefer, because if you watch it at home, like I would do, I'll do fast forward. I'm like, okay, okay, it's being so quiet. We'll take you half an hour. But being in a theater that there's no more no control, I have to endure it. But you get used to it after, because you are at home, it's like, Okay, I don't have time for this quiet crap. Man, we'll fast forward, right? But it's a quiet place, so it has to be quiet crap, no? Yes, but the thing is, uh, like, I have, I, have other, I, have, I have other things, to, I have a lot of things in my agenda, kind of sense. Okay. Now, Lupita Nyong'o, whatever, amazing. Because don't forget, and even Joseph Quinn. Because what happened, this movie ends up becoming like a black and white movie, sad movie of the olden days. They don't have a lot of words, so it's all on their faces. And Lupita, holy crap, she she can her mind gets emotion. You read her eyes, her face expression, you know automatically what she's thinking about. So for me, it's like kudos to these two actors because no words said, you know where they are at, where they're doing, and especially Lupita with the the, the trembling and the, the, the gestures, the muscle tones, incredible. The cat. She won an Oscar because you love the cat, you hate the cat, he knows where to go. The cat, sort of, a certain point, I think I didn't mention it, I like him because at a certain point he goes off, 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 off path, right? And it leads to a place where all these uh, alien uh, monsters, whatever you want to call it, they have this wrong thing and they're opening it, there's not, so I don't know if they're eggs or they're food, I have no idea what it is. Because I, I thought it was maybe that's where their hatcheries are, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. Now, are they eating their own because they're so hungry? 
that was or maybe it's a waste so they kind of have to consume themselves because the thing is this way do they kill because I don't know if they eat humans because at a certain part when they were at the, the puppetry uh, theater right and the, and the, the alien crashed in there there was dead alien, uh, humans on the floor in front of him or him or her okay I don't want to be sexist here and he didn't he didn't kind of take it and took it away if, if he was hungry right so I don't know if there is because don't forget they crashed here from the meteorite do they like Godzilla absorb solar energy because how the heck do they survive in space so the only way I could think of they're like uh, like like Godzilla they kind of s uh, absorb solar energy or cosmic energy and everything so when they crash down because don't forget they crashed so you're talking about an explosion of, an, of, a, of a missile kind of sense okay they're close to nuclear but not really that much so they're able to survive this so they're, so they're strong and everything because I thought it was aliens kind of sense and I'm like okay Where's the uniform? How come aliens in every science movie, they're all naked? They don't have a, uh, pajamas, they don't have a costume, they have no logos, they're all naked. So, yeah, but this one here makes sense. Because what happened to the way it looks like it, they are in a prehistoric planet. You know, like the humans were when we were uh, Neff dolls or cavemen and all that. So the planet probably got destroyed for whatever reason. And if it was humans who found it first, I know why they wanted to kill it because they're, they're psychopaths, these aliens. So they were they were gliding through space on the on the on on their dead world kind of sense. So for them to survive in space, that means they don't really breathe air, so they can endure space. And how do they feed uh, stay alive? Absorb energy. So, anyways, I like the movie a lot. It's very I like. Because one of the cheaper nights of this year. Go. Sorry, sorry to interrupt. Did Go you for see? It. Did you see the other installments of this franchise? Only the the first one. So how would you compare like the the first one to this? Is it the same level? Of it's the same level. Okay. Uh, like the, what I like about the quiet place is it's quiet. Once you make a noise, you're like damn. And then sometimes they make like I, I remember what the the first one the. the they make a noise, nothing happened, and all of a sudden, bang, they come out of nowhere. Because you like make a noise, nothing happens, you go, okay, phew, and, and the actors are doing the same thing. But then all of a sudden, the alien just comes out of nowhere, no? So it gives it more or less what's happening. Now here's the things, that the, the, that's why I'm gonna give it like the high 70s, give or take. Three things that didn't make sense for me. Now, in the, in the okay, I'm a perfectionist, okay? The guy's gonna find a note in his jacket. Right? The paper is nice and dry. He was in the river. Now, if the paper was in a plastic bag, I'll understand. So, the, the paper he wrote, yeah, that she wrote the note? I thought the same thing, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, whatever. I was then, being quiet. Then, the, yeah, because he was in a quiet place. Then, the other thing, when they're walking through the city before they end up going to the river, give or take, there's, a, there's, a, there's a, a sewer, and you see flame coming out of there. You're gonna see a boutique, the hats outside and everything. Now there was a humongous thunderstorm a couple of days ago, and also in the, the park there's a, there's a people play, were playing chess and there's a, there's a table full of chess play, things all around. Now I don't know about you, a thunderstorm, all those chess and all standing up. It's like they've been on the floor, and the boutique thing with the, with the hat outside and the stand should be on the floor. Yeah, I'm a perfectionist. But I think that was just um, a visual. visual thing. Yeah, but the show, you know, in New York City, the, you know, you, always, you see people in the park playing chess. I think it was just the show, like hey, New York I'm, doesn't die, no matter what. Well, that's what I think. Perfectionist. When there's no rats running around, they're dead already. There you go. Okay, so the living rat, rats are going running around. Well, there was a certain point the rat was was friends with the, the cat there. But anyways, those are the things that really like seem like they could have made it more perfect, kind of sense, you know. That's my opinion, for example. So besides that, no, I find it was very well done. And the, ah, that's the other thing I wanted to say. The military, the flying with the helicopters and everything, right? So they should have showed some, some part of the military guys will shoot with a machine gun, for like those machine gun military ones, to say how indestructible the aliens were. Mm -hmm. And they should have said at a certain point, okay, everybody who's in the east side of uh, east coast of New York, from this street to that street, Get out of there, because you're if because if if you're still there by two, by in two days from now, we're not responsible for, your, for any any of your loved ones' death. So I would have, for example, throw a, like a like a speaker, make crazy noises, 
The aliens will go there, throw a missile, nuclear missile, or a nuclear missile, or a bomb missile that throws a, 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 a scapels everywhere. So to see what, how to get rid of them. But that's my perfectionist story wise. That's it, yeah. That's how I think about the movies. That's how it's crazy. So those, see, no two out of three. And that's it. That would have been all three within there to show how durable the aliens were, how come the militaries were trying so many things that didn't work, this and this and that. Then I'm like, ah, you know? But there was not enough information about the aliens, how they got on the Earth. Because to me, the only thing I can figure out when you see that the thing's going down, it's like they came from the meteorite shower, you know? And that's it. So, as I said, for me, high 70s, I still, I still enjoy it. It was a very good science fiction movie. But then again, I want cheap one night. There you go. I said, me too. I, I thought uh, it's worth... If you like the other ones, I'm assuming this is almost as good as it. So if you're a fan of this franchise, I think it's a decent addition. I can't compare. I haven't seen them. But now I want to go see the other ones. For shame. For shame. Yeah, it kind of fills up the holes of, of what you see in number one and two. This is the prequel, right? So you kind of now, now you understand what happened. And that's it. Well... Thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you want to send this out to anybody who wants to see this movie, to help them out, please do. We'd appreciate the, the shares and the likes. So hit that like button and subscribe. We'd love to hear from you and tell us what you think of this movie. Are we way off base? Are we on the mark? Or, like we sh- we. or should we or should be fun? I'm not off base. So you can tell us quietly about how we did. We'd love to hear from you. Hit the like button, subscribe. This is Gio. This is Steven. Don't be too quiet. We'd love to hear from you. And from the movie, the, the, the best noise. That's it. That's the alien. Bye. Ciao, guys.